going to take the new look phase and then T phase of where the expression is A plus B plus B into the whole bar which is the sub to 4 N mass transistors, 4 P mass transistors. Okay, I need 4 N mass, 4 P mass. I am taking P mass. Okay, P mass is one below the other. P mass is one below the other. P three transistors, right side and transistor. Okay, but then go to zooming and then you take N mass. And most also four transistors we need. Yes. And most transistors, one transistor, then the other three transistors are coming from the other. Escape. Okay. So you see that all the NMOS transistors, one more time it will be zooming. In the window, okay. If you see the circuit, three N MOS transistors one beside the other, one is above this, and three P MOS transistors one below the other, one is on the beside horizontal. You see all the N MOS transistors, source is facing the bottom, source is coming to the bottom, okay. But P MOS transistors, source substrate is connected to drain, substrate is connected to drain. So, drain should come on the top. Drain should come on the top. What I will do, I will just click this PMOS. Okay. It is moving. We will give control D means control R. Okay. One time control E, two times control R. This time, selecting this. One time controlling, two times control R. Brain should come on the top. That is the intention. It is moving. One time controlling, two times control R. Okay, you do any number of times control E, control R. And here also brain should come on the top. Okay. One time controlling, two times control R. Okay. But you see they should be facing each other. All this. Four PMOS transistors, all the four PMOS transistors, source is on the bottom, drain is on the top, drain is on the top. Okay, substrate is connected to drain. In PMOS transistors, substrate is connected to drain. All this NMOS transistors, all this NMOS transistors, source is connected to the substrate, source is connected to the substrate, source is at the bottom, drain is on the top. All the NMOS transistors. Okay, you see here the PMOS are uh, not facing each other. Okay, in uh, P boss or N mass, they are not facing each other. So you can carry on with the same connection, same type of connection. Otherwise, you can just rotate it. Only thing you have to view properly the variable ADQ voltage levels properly should be there. Otherwise, any anyway you can do the connection. Okay. So what I will do, I will connect all the train points. I will connect all the source points. Yes, I have to connect it. Okay, I have to connect to three P MOS transistors. Three P MOS transistors. Okay, three N MOS and three P MOS, one P MOS horizontal and N MOS on the top. Okay, so the thing is, if you see the circuit diagram, I have uh, four input variables ABC, four input variables. Here also ABC, four input variables. I have to take four voltages. VDD is also there, VDD, five voltages are required. Bottom it is ground, bottom it is ground. Okay, five voltages are required. So I am going to need voltage. Voltage, okay. Here I will put one voltage. Here I will put one voltage. Another voltage. Okay, voltage here. And do the thing from the voltage. I will take the ground, one one ground for each voltage. One one ground for each voltage. 
One more ground is there at the bottom. One more ground is there at the bottom. And take this ground. Connect it at the common source points. The wiring. Bottom of the intense is One ground is there. But also on to that. Now, if you see the PMOS transistor, it is ABC. Okay, from the bottom it is ABC. Okay, N mos it is from left to right. N mos it is left to right. P mos it is bottom to top. And these two are T. These two are T. And two wiring appropriately. And two wiring appropriately. And how to connect this T. This is T. And how to take it correctly. If you click any, wherever you want. If you click, okay, unnecessarily, it will create a node which is not the correct side. This is A variable. This is A variable. And connecting here. And this is B variable. And so it's here. I have to. This is the B variable. Okay. And this is C variable. What I will do? I will take C variable. And here. Okay. So you should not create notes everywhere. And the final output should be at the center point. Final output should be at the center point. Junction of P mass and N mass. You see here at the interconnection. Okay, junction of P mass and N mass. I'm going to take output. If you want, you do run to so entire circuit is visible. Okay. So this I will, these three are EMOS transistors. A variable is connected to the lower, lower first EMOS. Okay. B is connected here to the second EMOS. C is connected to the third EMOS. And this D variable that is getting input from this EMOS, which is also D variable. Finally, this voltage is A, this is B, this is C, and this is C. This is VDD, common ground is given, and output point is taken. Okay, so now I will try to do the values. This is four inputs we have. This is five volts logic one, VDD value. Five volts logic one, VDD value. Okay, and this is A. So what I will do, I will go with advanced A variable. I will maintain the zero followed by five. Then beginning is. 0 0.5 nano, rise time 1 nano, call time 1 nano, on time I maintain extremely, time period 32 degree, this is for A, and I am going to be B variable, I am taking minus 0 followed by 5, then I am doing with 0 0.5 nano, rise time, call time, and half of the previous, half of the previous is really followed by 16 milli. B is half of the integral of A. This is C. This is C. Right click advanced. Go 
little files and just a zero volts, five volts, five volts, delay is zero point five nano, right time one nano, all time one nano, all time four milli and the eight milli. C is half time together and we can see here half of the time together. Now this is the D what I can do, go to advanced, pulse, pulse, 0 volts, 5 volts, 5 volts, delay time, 0 0.5 nano, rise time, 1 nano, on time, 1 nano, on time, I'm taking 2 milli, time to get, I'm taking 4 milli. You can see, A, I'm maintaining 16.32, B, I'm maintaining 8.16, C, I'm maintaining 4 and 8. B I am maintaining two one four. Okay, only then there's four sixteen combinations, four zeros to four one, sixteen combinations will come in order to check the output. Okay. So the way it is in thirty two minutes, so I can give thirty two or equal thirty two and this is six hundred here and then go to run button, run button. So what is one second? So somewhere the traction is here as well. The wire is here, the wire is here. Yes, the node is created. Whatever I have changed now, that is not useful. Okay. Only thing, the overriding happens here. The overriding, that's why I told. So we should not leave any things in any application. And then, still the node is created. Okay, so then, here yes, some override happening, which should be avoided. This is the variable, so what I will do? I will do like this. Okay. This time changing that node created unnecessarily, which means two voltages are created at that point. Now the problem should be clear with this. Okay. Changing D is not helpful. Uh, now I am going to run button. Now it is executing. That was the problem. In vertical, I have five waveforms. I have five waveforms. So add clock plane, add clock plane, add clock plane. Okay, four inputs and the one output. Click on the first one, run button, this is variable A, this is variable A, click on A. Click on the second one, run button, this is variable B. Anyway, on the right, the B is flowing, you have to click. Run button, this is variable C, and click on fourth plane, run button, this is C. Okay, now you can see four zeros. Four zeros, zero zero one. Okay, so this zero one. That is zero one zero like that. Four zeros to four one. So all the sixteen combinations are covered. For that only we are taking the time period in this session. Click on the output plane, run button. This is the point where we click output. Okay, this is the output. You can see it is weak zero, no, exact zero, strong zero is correct. Strong zero is coming, but to weak one, not strong one. Exactly five is strong one. Okay. But whether the output is correct or not, we have to put truth table for this and check. We have to put truth table for this and check. Okay. So accordingly, you check whether the output is correct or not. Okay. So we have completed expression A plus B plus C into the whole bar. The static CMOS logic that is for A plus B plus C into the whole bar. Using it, this way, sir. 